so after logging with the admin details like uh, slash wp hyphen admin you have to enter once you enter the login details you will come to the dashboard now our requirement is very simple whenever a new website is new wordpress site is given to you in your company in every page you have to add the title description content optimization internal linking breadcrumb navigation headings all these things you need to implement in each and every page so to first of all we need to know how to add the title tags and description tags we'll start with the high title tags and description tags so for example this is a page as already we have discussed initially if you want to add the title tags and description tags for every page in a wordpress site you need to install the plugins so out of all the plugins there is one popular plugin called yoast seo you have to go to the plugins click add new go to the plugins click add new search for the yoast seo plugin and install it already i installed this plugin and also activated the plugin any plugin you need to install and activate so go to the install the plugins and check it whether it is activated or not so yoast seo it is already activated so it is showing as deactivate now okay so already activated it is showing as deactivated nothing to do now now go to the pages all pages okay go to the pages all pages it will appear like this whichever the page for all the pages you need to add the title tags description tags settings breadcrumbs content everything is required so edit the required page edit the required page click this edit option for example we have a page called smm services so how to add the title tags and description tags for this page title tag and description tag for this page so once you install the yoast seo plugin and activate the plugin at the end of the each and every page in a wordpress site you will get yoast seo like this okay so click this edit snippet okay yoast seo box will appear like this at the end of the each and every page in a wordpress site you need to just click that yoast seo box click this edit snippet click this edit snippet enter the title whatever the title you want to give you can give the title something like smm company in bangalore smm services in bangalore make sure that dots are not coming here now dots are not there it is fine so already we have discussed join the two keywords by using pipe symbol always and separate the company name by using hyphen here the company name is digital martin 99 test for demo purpose we have taken use the hyphen symbol see the preview and write the description write some two to three lines of description and see the preview live preview you can see no need to go to the seo mofo tool and check in the preview tool directly you can see the preview desktop preview as well as mobile preview if dots are not there in, the, in title and description you can finalize it and uh, you can update so before updating one more point here is focus key phrase focus key phrase is nothing but the important keyword for which you are trying to rank in search engine for this particular page this page you want to get in first page of google for this keyword so that is the reason always make sure that the keyword is present in all the places which keyword you are targeting for this page that keyword you need to give in the focus key phrase then what this tool what this plugin will do means this plugin will show you some errors wherever you are doing mistakes this key phrase you need to maintain in all the places then only you can say you are you, you are done with the optimization this keyword should be there in the title headings content internal linking in every in everywhere so just you have to come down click this seo analysis in seo analysis section it will show you like this so key phrase length is good key phrase in the meta description previously used key phrase key phrase in the title that means this keyword is all is present in all these places again some more others are there need to solve it meta description length it is very short as of now just i given only one line that is the reason it is showing meta description is too short you need to write some two to three lines okay so next one is internal links you need to add one keyword within the content and give the internal linking so for example i am giving some internal link smm company in bangalore okay so for this particular keyword you need to give hyperlink to your web page either you give to the home page or else you give to the same page also so give the link something like digital marketing 99.ml slash sml services this is the url which we have given click this button submit okay once you are done with this click update 
like this whatever the errors it is showing you need to solve all those errors okay so text to length link key phrase keyword density one percent keyword is only found for one time you need to use more times that means in every hundred words use one or two times okay you can use two times that is the reason it is showing the errors nothing to worry you can solve all these issues by reading each and every issue if we have alt attribute also we need to use the alt attributes this process later we'll see at the time of auditing okay so as of now just remember install the your seo plugin activate the your seo plugin go to the each and every page and at the end of the page you will see your seo box in this click edit snippet enter the title enter the description enter the uh, key phrase and check whether it is showing solving all the it is uh, solving all these issues or not that means if you enter the key phrase and if you don't optimize it will show in red color if you solve the issues it will show in green color so once you're done with this click update now where can we see our uh, title tags and description tags and headings so first we'll implement all these things then we'll see the output okay so So click this edit as HTML. Once you click edit as HTML, it will show you to add the tags. H1 tag I'm going to add. Here also I will add H1. Close with H1. Open with H1. Close with H1. Once it uh, once you're done with this, convert it to HTML. You can see the preview. It is showing as HTML uh, live preview H1 tag. So like this, you can add the blocks. You can add the tags. By clicking this edit as html you can add the tags everything is ready made only everything is visible in the front end click this update now click this view page okay so this is the h1 tag we added and this is just the page name only this is the page url only this is the page url and one internal link also we are given because whenever you select any content immediately it will show you insert hyperlink or, or not you can select the insert hyperlink option view the internal link and you can come down one image also attached okay so just you have to come down and uh, see the, all the details and this is the title tag title tag is this one whatever the title you added in description in the uh, yoast seo plugin you can see this. this is the title tag and where can you see the description tag go to the source code press ctrl f description tag so this is the description tag meta name equal to description content equal to this is the description tag title tag is this one okay so one thing you have to remember wordpress is a cms based platform content management system we can manage the pages within the front end nothing to go with the server and cpanel you just connect with the dashboard go to the required page edit the page add the blocks do the changes and click update okay that's the process and for installing the for adding the title tags and description tags plugin is required otherwise plugin is not required okay and for inserting the contact forms that also plugin is required and now one more small topic is pending that we'll discuss now like uh, adding the breadcrumb navigation how to add the breadcrumb navigation so for example i want to give home here and smm services so if somebody clicks home, they need to go to the home page. If somebody clicks SMM services, they need to go to the same page. So by default, it will show the options here. You just need to select the required button. Click this link. Okay. So in every page, you need to implement the breadcrumb navigation as already we have discussed. So this is the URL home page. Click this button. And if somebody clicks SMM services, they need to go to the same page. Same page means nothing but SMM services. Why we have to give this? To increase the internal strength. So we implemented the vertical navigation also. Everything is front end only, nothing to go with the server and add the href tag, nothing like that. Insert hyperlink option is available here itself. So click update. Now you can see the output. Okay, this is the title tag. This is H1 tag, 
this is the breadcrumb navigation, this is the h1 tag, this is the content, this is the internal link, this is the image. Like this, you can add everything in a page, in a WordPress page. Okay. So just to practice this, go to other page, go to the SEO page and implement all these things and observe it. If you want to create a new page, you go to the pages, click add new, add the page and implement everything in the new page. So uh, watch this video completely and let me know if you have any doubts.